This is what I'm calling hand rulers. The reason I'm doing that is because you get two cards out of your opponent's hand and it's kind of unfair. This is perhaps my final version of this deck I'm going to make for a while. Um, it's the most powerful one. A main synopsis you'll notice is that there's a majority of monsters. Um, the main point of the deck is that you want to mill cards. Uh, milling meaning sending cards from your deck to the graveyard so that you can get more cards in your graveyard and use the effects in the graveyard. Essentially your graveyard becomes a second hand late game. Combined with the fact that we have good opening hands um, so it's not like we're lacking late game or early game. And we also run hand traps because for some reason it just works perfectly. Going over the deck, starting off first, we have Droll Knockbird. It's a level 1 spellcaster, 0 attack, 0 defense. The stats, the level, the attribute, none of that really matters. The only thing important is that it's wind and that it has a good hand effect that can specifically stop Max C. Maxi is the most scariest card against this deck because this deck special summons so much. Maxi can give your opponent way too much advantage and yes you can play under Maxi and give your opponent an advantage but you know it's kind of you're in a bad situation. You don't want to give your opponent too many cards because one of the cards they draw might just be the answer to everything you have. Uh, we're running three Maxi because it's that powerful. Mecha Phantom Beast allows us to go into synchro plays. Even using a token that it summons to go into an additional synchro play is quite nice. Laundry Dragon Maid sends from the deck to the graveyard. It's the main bread and butter of the deck. Ringle Worm the Dragon Guard is important because it's a dragon level 2 tuner, which allows us to go into synchro plays. We can banish it as fodder for dragon rulers. It's a light, so it works with the bestial engine. And also it has a graveyard effect where you can banish it and special summon a level 2 tuner token, so you can still go into synchro plays. It's quite amazing, very versatile. Uh, 3 Ash Blossom, stop Maxi, also stop other things, quite powerful. Uh, staple magna hut it's just removal from the graveyard adds you any dragon during the end phase i generally like to search out the bestials because the bestials are like a disrupt a disrupt meaning you stop your opponent from doing something during their turn it's also a big body so it kind of like makes me feel more safer and like i'm not gonna lose in one turn you know i have a protection uh Druus worm is very good too it's usually the search i get out of magna hunt simply because it's another form of removal um, not only does it banish a light or a dark in either player's graveyard and special summon itself, but when it leaves the field, you can target a special summon monster your opponent control, send it to the graveyard. So it's just too much removal. Baldrake is a little bit of protection during the opponent's turn, as in if they fusion, synchro, link, anything from the extra deck, you can just banish it. Even rituals, which isn't even from the extra deck. So it's quite versatile in that aspect. Uh, two of all the dragon rulers just because they can search themselves sometimes they have like cards they can search such as laundry dragon maid they all essentially do the same thing in the graveyard banish two dragons or the uh, correlating attribute summon it or in the hand they have unique effects like blaster can destroy a card if you discard another fire like ash blossom and maybe comes up in some situations when they have like a floodgate and you need to get rid of it but generally you just use them for the graveyard fodder uh, Cash Tier Engine is extremely powerful here because it baits out the Ash Balls and the Infinite Imperms. It provides us with the level 7 on field body, and it is also quite scary when you can banish an opponent's face up card face down. It's just like, damn, so many things built in. It perfectly works. Three Unicorn because looking at the opponent's extra deck is very powerful, and you can just stop them just from one banish entirely. Uh, Kashtira is just a follow-up if you have Fenrir, so that when Fenrir is in a graveyard, you banish it, special summon this, mill some more cards, keep the plays going. Three Bestial Lubian uh, just searches out your Bestial package, quite powerful, especially when it can search a spell, which when a lighter dark is banished, and Dragon Rulers tend to banish a lot, this deck does that a lot, uh, you can draw a card. So, I mean, a little bit more versatility. This is a unique tech I'm trying out. I really do like it. I'm hoping it's successful. It's called Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. It can be special summoned by banishing a light and dark out of your graveyard um, when it's in your hand or extra deck. And the, the way it gets into your extra deck is also interesting because you put it on your pendulum scale, you pay a thousand light points, and then you can target your banished dragon monster, add it to your hand. And this card goes to the extra deck. So, you kind of have like a 3000 uh, Chaos Ruler BLS thing just sitting in your extra deck if you ever want to summon it out. Besides that, One Pressured Planet, it actually supports the whole theme of the deck because they're all different attributes. Um, we don't run Shangri-La, so that's never coming up, but Searching Cash Tier is nice because a Fenrir Unicorn Search is like always good. A uh, Branded Regained, we only have one search from Bestial Lubion, and only one search for the three Unicorn Cash Tier Birth. This card is just so powerful. Even 
if it's just in our opening hand, we can still just normal summon a Dragon Roller and hopefully go into plays that way. Uh, Trishula, the Dragon of Icy Imprisonment. So I'd even know this card was in the game until recently. It's essentially just a fusion dragon that you can use cards on your field, which happens a lot. And if they're all dragon, you can banish a card from your deck. So if you banish a Dragon Roller, you get a search. Banish a card off the top of your opponent's deck and their extra deck. So it's essentially just a unicorn. Not the best thing in the world, but it is something that can like, you know, get you a laundry if you have three monsters on your field, which is quite nice. Dark Dimension Soldier. Uh, the main way you would summon this is if you have like a level three token or you have an Ash Blossom with level two, you can bring out this guy. Um, target one of your banished dark special summon it back. I have made him once and I never even used his effect. Uh... I don't know how good he is. I really, really don't. I want to try him out because there are opportunities for him to come out on the field and he may prove himself um, in certain scenarios. This is the MVP of the deck. Cyframe Omega, probably going to get banned because it's so powerful in this deck. Uh, banish a card in your opponent's hand. You can do it twice. And then during the standby phase, you can target a banished card, return it to the graveyard. If you target their card that you banish out of their hand, they're not getting that back. So it's just gone forever. It's kind of unfair. Uh, Draco Berserker of the Tenny, one of the most powerful Synchro 8s in the game. It's protection during your opponent's turn, but it's also a big body during your turn. Uh, Axel Synchro Dragon essentially lets us go into Synchro 10s quite easily, as long as we have a level 2 tuner in our graveyard that we can special summon back. Uh, I could run the Stardust to fill my graveyard with another uh, Dragon, which, I mean, we could easily put in if we take out Dark Dimension Soldier, which I, like, rarely ever make at all. Um, like we could put in the starters for an extra dragon if you wanted to uh virtual world kyubi shenshen is just macrocosmos on a field it's quite annoying actually um the last replay in the video uh, you'll see how annoying this card can be um bestial this pattern is <laughs> wow it is something um bringing back omega is so crazy being able to banish and negate and stuff like that is just crazy it's just like and the stats are wow it is a wow card to me. It is a card that I see and I go, wow, I can't believe that exists. Galaxy Tomahawk, it's a combo piece. We summon the five tokens. We go into Sprite Elf if we have level two on the field. If we don't, we are forced to go into Mecha Phantom Beast Orion. We can go into a Synchro 8 there, Synchro 10. We do have a little bit of options. Mecha Phantom Beast, uh, main reason I keep it to get out of skill drain. But also late game, Draco Sack kind of comes up because we have already used our combo pieces. And this is just a generic good card that does give us some opportunities to remove stuff. Uh, Striker Dragon is only in here if we do Sprite Elf, we bring back the Launch Dragon Maid, and then we uh, go into Striker Dragon just to have another dragon as fodder, if we want to use it as like a tribute material for Baldrick or something. It's, it's It sounds very weird, but it does come up, and I like having it there because it's just like additional protection, it makes my board even stronger. Uh, two Sprite Elf, it's that important. We run so many level 2s that we just, we need the level 2 engine to be live, so two Sprite Elf, if one's gone, um, your opponent might not expect the second one. Uh, Mecha Phantom Beast, Aurora Dawn, uh, crazy, crazy card. Yeah, this card is so crazy. Just, oh man. I, I don't know if the deck would be the same without this one card. I hate saying that because what if it gets banned now? But dude, it's so it brings out the two tuner. It lets you go into your synchro. This card lets everything happen. It's amazing. Uh, Underworld Goddess is just there as temporary removal. Another card I was thinking of running is the Five-Headed Dragon. The Five-Headed Link Dragon, that's right. Uh, I wanted to run this card because it just says five monsters, which means that if you do do the Galaxy Tomahawk and you summon a bunch of tokens, you could just tribute five of the tokens, summon this big 5k unaffected monster. Uh, I don't own it. I, I might try it out and see if it comes up a lot more. I'll probably take out Dark Dimension Soldier because I don't think this is going to be seeing much play, honestly. But yeah, let me get to the replays. I'll show you how the combo works and I hope you enjoy. So the main way you play this deck, or at least this combo, is you need a level 2 monster, which it doesn't need to be a tuner, and two level 7s. So... Fenrir is important here, I guess just Kashtir in general, because we actually do bait out the negates, which we want to bait out, because uh, Galaxy Tomahawk, which we're about to make here, cannot get negated. If it gets negated, you're kind of in a worse situation than ever, because you lost one of your most important uh, combo pieces, and you're kind of screwed. Luckily, it doesn't get negated, so we're just able to play. Uh, main reason I'm doing this is so that I can get enough um, 
like levels on the field to continue my synchro plays. We make a synchro eight, which just gets rid of a card in the hand, banish it, just get rid of it, more space in our field. And then we'll make this guy, which essentially just goes into a synchro ten. The synchro ten brings back the eight, which gets rid of a card in the hand. So we could do it again. I'm gonna wait until the standby phase because I think I have like a banished like a redox or something. So I'm like, okay, well I want that back in the grave so I can use it. We're playing Sword Soul. And, uh, sorry, they surrendered really quick. But essentially what happened, they have three cards in their hand. Their swords, their card that they activated says, Hey, discard another card, special summon this. We have a card, uh, the Patter, which would destroy it. We also have Omega, which would get rid of their last one card in their hand. And I'm sorry about this replay. I do get a lot of comments, people saying, Hey, those cards aren't in the deck. Uh, you are absolutely correct. I was running uh, Kashtir Theosis and Kashtir Preparations along with Kashtir Ogre who will actually pop up in a bit. Main reason I was doing that is because I wanted to see if the other Kashtir cards were good enough. And I found that uh, although Kashtir Theosis is pretty cool and I might run it in the future because it's not the worst thing in the world, um, Preparations is not good enough. It's a trap and it's too slow. If it had been the spell. I would have been able to do even more plays, but since it was a trap and it's just like a dead card in my hand that does nothing, I'm I'm gonna be taking it out. I, I want every card in the deck to be extremely powerful so that new players, old players, anybody who's trying this deck, even though it's really, really, really expensive, anybody who's trying the deck will have great success. That's the whole goal. It has to be a good deck, you know. Abyssal uh, Dispatter, bring back the Omega. I'm not going to banish right now because standby phase, we want to put something back in the grave. I have a Bestial or a Ringo Worm, two great targets that I can put back in the grave. Uh, Ogre back from the trap. If they activate a trap, I get rid of another card in my hand. But I mean, the only trap I could see them activating Infinite Infirm, which is like, what? why? Why would it? You know, it doesn't make sense. That's why it's going to be a spell. That's why I took out Ogre. That's why I took out Preparations. Just, it doesn't work. Uh, just look at the top five cards of the opponent's deck. Kind of want to see what they're playing at the same time. Get rid of something that might be really good. Uh, we're going to... Or, uh, yeah, we negate the Bestial because I have a feeling they're going to search a trap, which would scare me a lot. Uh, and although they look like they're in a bad situation, they come out of this. They send a fusion, which draws them a card. They add a card, and the card they drew is good it's a bestial so they're kind of back in this game get rid of the sprite elf get rid of the roar dawn all right what what now synchro no no just enter okay all right i'm not gonna go easy i'm sorry omega's back on the field we're gonna activate the field spell rise heart it's just a normal summon banish the cash tier dude uh fenrir so we can just special summon it back with the trap and then fenrir is you know fenrir so we get a search we also have an essential pop our full board is just gas it is gas no breaks gg uh this third replay is just going to be me talking about like what if your opponent already has like cards on the field what if they have monsters and established board how do you how do you beat that um, I'm sorry, this isn't the greatest replay in the world, I'm going to be quite honest. Uh, Durf, no offense to you, Durf, is not um, the greatest Sword Soul player. They do know their combos, but they are quite strange. Uh, Sword Soul actually can make very powerful boards where you just banish and negate like twice or three times, like three like disrupts. Uh, this person only has two, which isn't bad. It really isn't. It's just not three, you know. So, they're going to do Baxia, pop the link one, special summon the sword. So, I'm like, oh, okay, are we going to see some synchro plays? Oh, you already used the effect. Uh, bring back the link one. Oh, and, uh, okay. So, one monster effect negate, one trap. That's all I have to worry about. All right, Bistial Lubion. Oh, Ash Blossom. Oh, well, that sucks. Ogre, look at the top cards. All right, didn't get negated. Activate the effect. Oh, got negated. Oh. Okay, well, I only have to deal with the trap now, which can destroy two cards on the field. Ringo Worm, they're going to activate the trap preemptively. They should have held on to it. Uh, and what is that? That's a level two? That's a level set. Is that two level sevens? Full combo! Yes, we're going full combo here. Uh, get the tokens out. I'm immediately just going to go into the synchro because uh, Ringo Worm is unique as in. It can bring back a level two just from the graveyard by banishing itself, which is pretty sick i mean it it, it it doesn't bring it back in the reader sorry but it gives you a tutor so we're gonna go into axel go into bisio another token because why not just additional protection if they try to attack us if we do end up losing our board to whatever uh clear their board <laughs> oh they're drawing they're drawing now yeah and we have a monster effect negate so it's like yeah i'm sorry brother 
Okay, and this is the fourth and final replay, and it's only here to show off. What if you can't get two sevens on the board and a level two? What do you do? Well, it's not great. I'm going to be quite honest. Um, I make a Shen Shen, which is a Macrocosmos on the board. Yeah, that's quite strong. We have Branded Regain. We get the free draw here. We have the two tuner. Uh, mill some more cards. Hopefully mill something really powerful. There is a Dragon Ruler there, and I was tempted to go into my plays, but I'd have to get rid of Shen Shen in order to not lose like everything on my field because that Macrocosmos applies to me as well. Uh, Sprite Elf doesn't have any targets in the graveyard, so it's all the only reason it's here is that it makes Shen Shen non targetable, which actually came up because of the Eldrick. So, quite nice. Our turn, and uh, yeah, let's see. Laundry Dragon Maid, mill some three more cards, mill the, the title, special summon the title. We have Carol Simper, which actually came in clutch to add back the Magna Hut. The only problem is, in theory, he should go back to the extra deck so you can summon him again. Um, but the Macrocosmos kind of prevents that. I keep saying Macrocosmos, essentially it's just any current sent from the field to the Graver is banished. So, I can't even do that. Attack them, leave them with like 1,100 life points. Main phase 2, Sprite Elf. This time Sprite Elf actually works. So, Maxi. We also have the Tuner and Laundry Dragon Maid for next turn. Uh, Bistial Baldrake. I mean, dude, it's like, we're chilling. That's it for the video. This is my deck. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think down below, and I hope you have a great day or night. Later.